The price of Bitcoin is $37,733. So far today, it keeps on trying to rally to the upside. In terms of my current open positions, I have got not that many, but a couple of decent sized trades here. We've got a Lux trade. That's doing amazingly well, considering it's only a baby trade. And then, of course, the Ethereum trade up here, now 1.3 million. I took a bit of profit yesterday. Probably took a little bit of profit a little bit early on that one, but still $53,000 of profit left in the trade. Hopefully, that keeps growing. And, of course, over on BitGet, I've actually got some very good size of trades because, of course, I, what I said the other day... The other day, I said, I'm going to try and turn my BitGet account from $50,000 into a million dollars in a week. Now... I've not made any videos since I've made that video, so I do apologize for that. It's been a horrendously busy time. However, I have been keeping everybody in the Crypto Saving Expert Telegram, not Telegram, Discord server. I've been keeping everyone in the Crypto Saving Expert Discord server up to date, so they're all very much aware of how that challenge has been going. Now, it's only really just got going. If you look at these trades that we've got open here, yes, we've got a good amount of profit here, um, but we've only got two trades open, one of which is on Phantom and the other of which is on Bitcoin. If you're wondering about BitGet, you can use BitGet in the UK. You can click on the link in today's video description and get a nice sign up bonus or whatever uh, but basically that is the exchange that i'm trying to complete this challenge on and we've gone from fifty thousand dollars to one hundred twenty seven thousand dollars over the course of the past few days now if you look at my seven day pnl you can see it was a bit rocky but then overnight, it's kind of started growing back to the upside. If we look at the 30-day PL on this account, it's been rallying nicely. The 90-day is even better. It's been a very good period of 90 days, or even 45 days, going from $14,000 all the way up to $127,000 where we sit right now. But the question is, am I going to be able to continue that astronomical growth? Because that is some quite significant growth. That's 10x in 45 days on $13,000. And I think the answer is, give me another 45 days and... Yeah, sure. Trading sensibly. I could realistically reach a million dollars with this account. I am quite confident about that. Uh, I'm pretty good at these things, especially when the market is going as well as what it's going. It seems like every move is fairly difficult, or rather easy to figure out. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and figure out what is going to happen next to the price of Bitcoin. And if you don't mind, please do slap a like on today's video. I would honestly really, really appreciate it. If you're wondering where I am, I'm in dubs. And uh, yeah, I'm going to the Formula One this weekend. So all right, I'm only going on Sunday, but uh, still, I mean, why not? It's the last race of the season. Figured I may as well come along. Anyway, without further ado, slap a like and let's crack on to today's video, where of course the price of Bitcoin is now $37,715. Now this is an interesting time. I've got a difficult decision to make. I cashed out half of the profit in this trade the other day. It's since gone up a little bit more. But there's only $22,000 profit left in it. And we are quite close to my entry. We're only about $300 away from my entry. Really not that far away. So $20,000 <laughs> by a $300 move means, of course, I've got a diff diff uh, rather large trade sizing open right now. It's a 64 sized Bitcoin trade, $2.4 million. I am using leverage. I am not using necessarily the world's most sensible amount of leverage but i i uh, i've got a pretty good strategy here i just kind of wait till it starts going bad again and then buy and then it starts going up again and then sell and it just keep rinsing and repeating over and over and over and honestly it's one of the best strategies that you could possibly have in a bull run wait till everyone thinks it's going to keep going down buy and if it keeps going down set your stop loss get caught lose a little bit of money However, then if it bounces to the upside, great, you just made money. And because we're not in this bearish market like what we've been for the past few years, or rather what feels like a few years, we do get a lot more bounces these days. And those bounces come so frequently that you can make a lot of money just scalp trading this market. So when it comes to the next move for Bitcoin right now, it's going to be interesting. We're kind of forming almost an inverse head and shoulders here on this one minute. So we might start pumping back to the upside, but we've got a clear level of resistance here that we've got to break through in order to make new highs. And that is this level of resistance here. We've got to really break through $37,800. And if we're breaking through $37,800, the likelihood is we're going to go back up to 38K. I think personally, tonight, $38,000 is very, very much in play. I would be kind of surprised if we didn't at least retest $38,000 one more time. And to be honest, I'm looking at this right here and thinking, to be honest, we're probably going to break to the upside. I'm going to remove all of these indicators. Uh, just give me a second here. And just to clean up the chart just a little bit. There we go. And if we're looking at this, we've got what is a very, very clear 
inverse head and shoulders pattern here. One, two, three. You've got your neckline, which is kind of set around this level. To be honest, the neckline for it is probably sat somewhere around this $38,000 level here. And so given that we break the neckline here of this inverse head and shoulders level, well, then you'd expect another pump to the upside. But we've also got one more level of resistance to contend with. And I don't know if we're trading above it right now. Let's have a look. We're kind of just trading alongside it. This is a long-term level of resistance. And literally, all we need to do is pop the top. And as soon as you pop the top off this, we are going to rally very significantly to the upside. And one of the things that we need to be keeping an eye on right now is, of course, the VRVP, the volume range, volume profile. That will give us an idea of how Bitcoin is going to perform if it starts breaking to the upside. And for that, we need to switch over now to the daily chart to analyze the volume range. We've got quite a lot of volume within this range. But the next key peak of volume that we have is up here at $47,000. And that's really what I'm holding out for because look, if we get a $10,000 move and I've got that trade sizing in there right now, that means I make a lot of money and I am very excited. I love making money. It's one of my favorite th activities to do, favorite pastime, call it whatever you want to call it. It's definitely not a job. Although sometimes it definitely is a job when you're stuck up to like 4 a.m. watching a number go like that. It just, it, it, sometimes it just breaks you, absolutely breaks you. Like, for example, on the flight to Dubai this time, I literally didn't sleep. I had a, I was in business class. I try to treat myself, you know, let's go business class. Let's get a bed. Let's have a nice nap on the plane. But then Bitcoin just started going down and then down and then down. And I was like, oh no, no, I'm stuck long. I don't like this. This isn't good. Anyway, long story short, managed to lose probably about 50 grand while I was on the plane. However, when I got off the plane, I was more motivated than ever to go back to the drawing board and make it all back again. Because that's what we do here on the channel. We might make the odd mistake, but we certainly don't accept those mistakes. We learn from them and we move on and we grow. So that's, or rather, I move on and I grow. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, you might be just keeping on making the same mistake over and over. But don't do that. Learn, please. Come on. If you want to learn more, go to CryptoSavingExpert.com. That is where all of the best education is. And of course, if you want to stay fully up to date with all of my trades, I post every single trade that I take in the Crypto Saving Expert Discord group and the Black Friday sale for Crypto Saving Expert ends, like the discount codes are in today's video description, but the Black Friday sale for Crypto Saving Expert ends, I think, on Monday because that's Cyber Monday. So what day are we on now? We're Friday. It's Black Friday today. So what, four more days until that sale's over. And when it's over... Those discount codes are gone forever. The system changes and the price goes higher. So you don't have long to join Crypto Saving Expert at the price that he's at. Anyway, self-shilling aside, and honestly, the people in Crypto Saving Expert really do like Crypto Saving Expert. It's been life-changing for a lot of people that are in there. Anyway, going back to it, Ethereum. I've got, of course, another big Ethereum trade open. This is Ethereum USD on the one-minute chart. Yes, we've had a stock up today. Yes, we're bull flagging outwards again. But what level does Ethereum need to break in order to confirm this breakout and keep moving to the upside? Well, let's first of all look at the hourly chart and reset the scale here to auto so it all fits on the screen. Basically, Ethereum needs to pop the top here. And if we pop the top here, which I would honestly love to do, can't guarantee we're going to do it, but that's $2,127. If we pop the top at $2,127, we're going to rally so hard, so fast, and let's have a look at where the next level of resistance would sit, because literally all we need to do right now to make money is support and resistance trading. You go long when you break out, and you go short when you break down. Um, that's the two things. So first level, first key level of resistance for Ethereum will be at and around this level here, around $2,317. Given my current sizing on this trade, and I must admit, I do feel a little bit like I should probably take a little bit more uh, money off the table here because we are at the top of the range and we're yet to break through it. So although I'm bullish, and although I'm positive, I do want to add an air of caution to today's video saying there might be one more pullback. I just feel like, look, it's Friday. If we're going to make a move on any day, it's probably going to be a Friday. I've got 682 Ethereum anyway on this trade. So it'd be 682 times $300 would give us a total profit. I'm not going to work that out off the top of my head, but we are currently about $80 up on this trade and that's $51,000 profit. So that gives you an idea. Probably about 250K if I didn't change the size of the trade. That would be the realistic profit target. But I don't know if that's going to happen and I certainly can't guarantee anything's going to happen. So make sure that you understand this is not financial advice and you should always do your own research. Now, one of the things that makes me very bullish about the markets right now would be the DXY. The US dollar currency index keeps dropping. It looks absolutely horrendous. It just keeps dropping to the downside. And if we look here at the daily chart on the DXY, you'll see that we got 
heavily, heavily rejected off of this level of resistance here. We keep dropping to the downside and there's no sign of this stopping anytime soon. The other thing that makes me very bullish on Bitcoin is this is the five minute chart on the S&P 500. And on the five minute chart on the S&P 500, you can see we just keep rallying to the upside. So when the stock market is bullish, generally Bitcoin is bullish. But we also need to check on Bitcoin again because Bitcoin is moving right now on those lower levels of support because the one thing you don't want to do is get caught on the wrong side of this trade. Now, I'd say $650, $37,650, I, a, a, I would decrease the size of my trade here. I would have my stop loss for my trade set at my entry, which is somewhere around the level of $37,300. So at and around this level, because this, again, it's a peak volume range. It wouldn't surprise me to see one quick week down and then a bounce back to the upside. You know how Bitcoin has been so volatile recently? Well, look at these moves here. In the span of only six hours, we had a 2% move to the downside. And then in the preceding, what looks like a 24-hour span, yeah, 19 hours, we then rallied 3%. And these are all pretty significant moves considering for a long time there, we weren't even moving at all. So of course, if you are interested in trading, check out the links to Bybit and of course, BitGet in today's video description. If you are interested in trading, these are the best two exchanges. BitGet if you're in the UK, buy bit if you're outside of the uk uh, those are your best options both of them have got mobile apps and everything like that um, but basically sign up on the link and then when you download the mobile app you're like you can log in on that note thank you all very much for watching today's video i hope it was informative and useful and i'll see you in the next one goodbye